Hi, and welcome to Be Still and Know with me, Dr. Micah Jazz. I've often wondered what it was that so caught the attention of Simon and Andrew, then James and John, that made them get up, walk away from their jobs and follow Jesus. Scripture gives us no clue, so I'm left to speculate. Was something of his immortality breaking through his mortal flesh catching their eye, Or maybe his charisma drew them just with a few simple words. Maybe he spoke with such authority that they found they had no option but to rise and follow him regardless of any inconvenience. One thing's for sure, they quickly saw that Jesus was the Messiah. For in John's Gospel account, the first disciples heard the Baptist's announcement that Jesus is the Lamb of God and immediately set out to discover more. They turn their attention from God's prophet, John, to God's son, Jesus. To follow is choosing to go the same place as someone else. Here there's the obvious desire to keep in close proximity to Jesus. Over time the church came to understand that to follow Jesus was to choose to live one's life dedicated to God to the same degree that Jesus did. It was to create a distinction between my preferred path through life and the one God invites me to follow. As a child, I remembered this day the story of Sleeping Beauty that my parents read to me. I was young and always loved being read to. This book, one of a series of illustrated fairy tales, had dramatic pictures that seized my imagination. Here the prince, searching for his somnolent princess, was shown cutting his way through a wild, fast-growing forest to make any headway towards his ultimate objective. It demanded courage and determination in search of a prize he conceived within both heart and mind, yet could only ever visualise until eventually he stumbled upon the glass casket in which she slept and awaited the kiss of true love to awaken her. These initial disciples exhibited a similar resolve. Their hearts captured by something intangible beyond the descriptive powers of the gospel writers. They got up, left their livelihoods, their families and their homes simply to walk with a stranger with whom they established a friendship and were introduced to a completely different perspective upon the world in general and the purpose for their lives in particular. Today I stand alongside them. I can do nothing but set aside what I once imagined was my lot in life to pursue the stranger, Jesus. Over time I've grown more familiar with him and would now call him my friend. Following him has demanded everything, cost me so much, yet gifted me the deepest sense of peace within a turbulent life experience, so that, like Andrew, I must exclaim, I have found the Messiah, or my Saviour. As we enter into the God space today, how is God calling you? What path have you been invited to pursue? More importantly, have you chosen to walk it? Or does it beckon you, yet you still find it impossible to walk this way for fear of where it might lead you? Amen. The older I grow, the more comfortable I become walking in the footsteps of Jesus, even though it's surrounded by uncertainty and continually stirs my insecurities. Now please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and follow along with these daily meditations at home. 
and join me this Sunday for Premier Life as well as for Be Still and Know throughout the week. But for now, from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and God bless. <laughs>